We can find the commands to modify topo surfaces underneath the Massing and Site tab. And the two commands I'd like to focus on are Split Surface and Subregion. Split Surface allows us to split up a topo surface into multiple smaller topo surfaces. And a subregion allows us to subdivide those topo surfaces into different kinds of materials. An example of that would be the site itself would have a different material from the roads or from the sidewalk associated with the site. Let's start by using the split surface tool. But before we do that, there's one other thing that I'd like to do, and that's right here inside of the view. If we zoom in, I can see some line work in this area that make up a road. I can also see some line work that make up the parking area for our building. Unfortunately, though, most of the line work for the building itself is being hidden by the topo surface. So what we need to do is turn on wireframe mode in the visual styles. So if you select on the visual style button and then click on wireframe, we'll then be able to see the rest of the line work that makes up the road as well as our building. Let's come up here to split surface. After clicking on split surface, select on the topo surface. After it's been selected on, click on the rectangle tool. And what I'd like to do is just draw a small rectangle around our site so that we have two separate surfaces all the site around the building, and then the actual site that our building sits on. After you've drawn the box around the outside of the building, click on the big green check mark. Now the next thing I'd like to do is delete the surface that's around the perimeter of our site, meaning this outside surface. So if we select on the surface, then click on the delete key on the keyboard, we've now deleted all that excess topo surface that we didn't really need for our construction documents. Now we just have this topo surface in this area. In fact, we could see that if we come up to our default 3D view. Now you can see that we just have this rectangular shape that will work for the rest of our drawings inside of Revit. Click on the X here in the corner to get back to our original view. And now I'd like to use the subregion command. Select on subregion from underneath the Massing and Site tab, then zoom in to the road that's on the outside of our building location. And I'd like to trace a line from this point down, around, and then just trace out the area where the road is located at. I'd also like to do the same thing for our parking area in front of the building. With line selected, zoom in here to the top, click the intersection of these two lines, come straight over, click there, come down. Now typically we try to be as accurate as possible, continuing the click all the way on around until we had an exact copy. We even could select on this tool, which is called the Pick Lines tool, and start to pick individual lines as we're going around. But what I'd like to do instead is just get it close. So we'll zoom in here, draw a line from one spot to another spot, and continue all the way on around. We are not gonna worry about being exact. Just click in one spot, click in the next spot, and continue the trace around until you get to the outside of your box over here. Click over here, come up, come up to this point. If you need to use the arc tool, you can, which is the start end radius arc. Click here, have a slight arc to my road, zoom in for a little bit more control, pick on this line here, come up. And once again, being exact is not going to matter, not for this exercise, but you could be as exact as you would like to be. Once you've gotten all the way around the perimeter of that road, hit the escape key on the keyboard to get out of the drawing portion of this command, and then select on the big green check mark to finish off that subregion of the site. Click on the subregion so that it's highlighted in blue, and then come over here to material, and I'd like to change the material for this piece of road. Click where it has by category, click on the box to the right of it, then select on asphalt off of the project materials list. Click on OK, and now we have that material associated with that strip of road. To see that a little bit better, come down here to the Visual Style wireframe, click on it and change it to Shade It. See how that's now a different material from the rest of the site? Now I'd like to do the same thing for the parking area. So let's zoom into the parking area and draw around this parking area. Pick on Subregion, make sure that the Line tool is selected, and draw all the way around the perimeter.
Once you have your line work drawn in, click on the big green check mark. Then just select off of that. Now select off of the subregion, and you'll notice that because we did not change the material, that it still has the original site material associated with it. But we can always come back to it by selecting on the location of that subregion, coming over here to Properties and Material, clicking in the By Category area, selecting on the little box next to By Category, clicking on the material you'd like to assign, and then clicking OK in order to assign material to that subregion of your site.